the economy is still deteriorating. The government has a shortage of dollars and the government has a shortage of rupees. They are trying to solve this issue by printing rupees. Today, the actual value, the market value of the rupee is 250 rupees to a dollar. And it's going to increase. It will go up to 275 rupees a dollar. We must at least try and stop go going to 300 rupees a dollar. Uh, similarly, by June, July, we have to start repaying the next tranche of our uh, loans. Our debt servicing begins again. And the issue we have here is we have not started any discussions with the IMF. I don't think we have any option but to pay the loans in June and July falling due. Uh, so the government will have to find money for this. Then the third issue that we have is foreign exchange transactions are not being done through banks now. Banks are suffering. Instead, it has gone outside to the Hawala system. Will the banks recover from this? That's the open question. So these are all issues which are really uh, contributing to the misery that we are all facing. I would like to say there is only one course of action for us. The IMF under its Article 4 has to have consultations with member countries every year. The consultation with Sri Lanka started in December and it is uh, the report will be uh, put before the board next week and after board approval is given, it will be released. Once the uh, report is released, the government should table a copy of the report in parliament and we should debate the report. We should debate it not on the basis of the positions of our parties or to have party conflict. Let's not look at who was responsible for the situation. Let's look at the report and then consider what are the steps that we have to take for recovery. We should come to a consensus about our broad economic policies and our framework. It has to hold for not five years, but ten or more years. And that is the only way that we can win back the confidence of the world. We have to remember that we have only one national asset. That is our young people, what you call the millennials and Gen Z. Their future depends on what we do. They have already lost hope in the future. Then it is our responsibility as parliament to discuss these issues and uh, come to an arrangement on the broad economic uh, principles and the framework that should be there short term, medium term and long term. If we don't do this, the youth will curse us. They will say you've destroyed the country's future, you've destroyed our future. Therefore, we must rise to this challenge.